Hey, what's up my friend, Calic and I here, and in this video we're gonna talk about some simple ways that you can start to level up your copywriting skills even if you're a total beginner. So hang with me all the way up until the end because I think that you're gonna love it. So in this quick video, I'm going to share with you top five, my top five tips to help you take your copywriting skills to the next level, even if you're a beginner, and start getting that ball rolling, start getting some of that momentum behind you. And these are some of the same exact things that I started to do when I was first starting out as a copywriter early on in my career, uh, when I was first getting into digital marketing and learning how to you know, write words that sell, sell, which is fascinating to me. So. Uh, before I get into this though, a couple of things. One, hang with me until the very end because tips number four and five are where the real magic is gonna happen. And number two, if you like this content, then do me a favor and just like the video. Go ahead and drop a like, uh, bonus points for if you drop a comment, uh, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. So all of these things, they just help the channel continue to grow so that I can continue to support you and uh, all these other businesses around the globe with this content. So very simple ask, right? If you like it, like it. Super simple. All right, so tip number one is going to be about research, right? Spend more time doing the research than you are doing the writing. So I like to use the 80-20 principle here, okay? So when, especially when you're just getting started and you're in a particular niche, you should be spending probably the majority of your time learning about your customer avatar in that niche. Going into Facebook groups uh, on the topic, uh, looking at forums on that topic, getting on the lists of other email marketers or marketers in that particular niche, and to learn about the psychology of your customer avatar. A lot of times when I see beginners in the early phases of their copywriting career or they're just starting out as a copywriter, when they think about writing copy, the first thing that they want to do is like sit down, pen and paper, and they want to start, you know, putting putting words uh, out there in the in the ethos. But that's really not as effective as taking the time to effectively research your audience, understand what language do they use, what pains and frustrations do they have, you know. It are some of those potentially related to the age group? What age group are you talking about? What are the, some of the demo, key demographics around that audience? Uh, what are some of their goals specifically? What particular vernacular do they use in that niche? So if you can speak their language, you're gonna build that rapport, that, that rapport and trust that much faster, right? So if you do good research, it'll actually help all of your writing be easier and faster anyway, and more effective. So tip number one, research in advance. All right, so tip number two is going to be to get on the lists. So this is another one that I used early on. Get on the list of other marketers who are effective in that particular niche. So when I was first getting online, understanding the digital landscape, I started opting into everybody, in my niche, I started opting into everybody's funnel that, uh, that I knew was producing results. And I started reading all of their emails. In fact, I dedicated a specific Gmail address to just that, to just opting in to other people's uh, funnels and getting on their list. And I would make it a habit almost every day to open up that email inbox and read some of those emails that were specific to my niche. So. This way I'm learning and I'm reading copy from some of the most effective marketers in that sector, in that marketplace, right? Reading about the tonality, the cadence, some of the words that they use, how do they you know, conduct their call to action, what's the framework of the emails, right? Do they long form emails with a link at the end? Are they short form emails with a link? Are they long form emails with multiple links throughout? So you can start to see what works and what doesn't. You can learn about the language from marketers that are producing results, right? So if you can find some of your competitors in your space, get on their email list and start consuming some of their content, and it's gonna be important to do so not through the eyes of a prospect, 
but through the eyes of a copywriter, right? So you don't wanna get sucked in and start going out and buying all these things unless you're you know, gonna go through their sales sequence to learn about that. We wanna just read it and reading it kind of objectively and saying, oh man, I like the way that they use that sentence right there or I like the way that they led in to that next paragraph or I like that call to action or I like the psychology there or look at that's a unique way for them to play up on the emotional triggers of this audience and that's what you wanna take note of. So get on the list of those that are more effective and further along in their journey than you currently are. All right, so, all right, so tip number three is going to be to keep a swipe file of what I call power words, right? So any good copy, and, and this is kind of like a, a gray area, there's a blurry line, because good copy can be spiced up with a few good trigger words that kind of hype up emotions, right? Things like uh, secret, or bizarre, or destructive, right? These are just words that carry, they're, they're not words that we use in our everyday language, so they can spice up your copy just a little bit. I think it's also important though to be cognizant of still keeping your copy clear versus clever. That's probably the number one thing that I've fired copywriters for in my business is they get they just get too wrapped up in getting clever and the, the messaging gets watered down and unclear. Uh, and for me, that's just a copywriting sin, right? At the same time though, you don't wanna have just boring and bland copy. You do wanna be able to spice it up a little bit. So. I keep a list, a, a bunch of words in, in a document that are basically power words, right? That you, that I'll go into this document and start to look through you know, words that I could use to kind of spice up my copy. Another thing that you can do is using a thesaurus, right? If you want to place a, uh, replace a word that maybe you're using often or maybe you just feel like, ah, that's not quite punchy enough, a great place to go is a thesaurus. Then you take that and put that in a repository somewhere and keep that you know, file, that swipe file of power words. This kind of becomes your, over time, it can become your copywriting vault, so to speak. So that is tip number three. Now, let's get into the next one. Okay, so tip number four is gonna be the Hemingway app, right? Uh, and I've, I've covered this in another video. Uh, and like pulled it up on screen and kind of showed it to you, but basically it doesn't matter. Hemingway app, if you're not using it, crazy effective tool. In fact, I learned about it at an event where a company that does a billion dollars a year in sales and heavily invests in their copywriters share that all of their copywriters use this app. So it does a couple of things. Basically you download the app, it's cheap, super affordable, pay for it, you copy and paste your, cop your, your copy that you wrote into the app, and it lets you know where you have run on sentences, where you know it's just not very, the readability score is it's just too difficult for most, most people. And really what you want is you want a fourth grade reading level or below, right? In fact, the company that was sharing this, you know, they work with their, their average customer has about $200,000 in the bank. You know, they, they are investors, they're well-educated, and yet all of their copy is still at a fourth grade reading level or below. So you wanna make sure that you're keeping it, you know, while you might use some spicy language like we talked around about here in Power Words, you still wanna keep your copy very, very easy to consume and comprehend, right? If it starts getting too confusing, if you're using too many, you know, funky words, then you will increase its complexity, decrease your reader's comprehension, which is going to decrease ultimately your conversions. So Hemingway app is an extremely good, extremely effective tool for making sure that your copy is gonna be easy to consume, effective, and easy to convert. All right, so let's get into the next one. All right, so tip number five, this is a big bonus for you. This is actually me giving you a book recommendation of probably the most effective book that I've ever read in the world of copywriting, and I've read a lot. And this one actually just happened as I'm shooting this video. I came across this book maybe about two weeks ago. I downloaded it and I consumed the entire book in one sitting. Now it's not a huge book, but it's very, very rare. And I think it's like 90 pages, but it's still very rare that I read a whole 90 pages in one sitting. Uh, but that's how good this was. It was short, succinct, to the point, give you a very, very simple to use framework. It wasn't full of theory and fluff and ideas around you know, how to write good copy. It was like, here is exactly the formula that we use and the guy using it has done tens of millions of dollars in sales 
multi tens of millions of dollars in sales uh, and also works with a billion dollar uh, company. So the name of the book is uh, The 16 Word Sales Letter, right? So again, it's gonna give you a very, very simple framework to follow or basically you take whatever you're selling, you have one question that you're trying to answer and then you have 10, you overcome 10 different objections. Super simple, or sorry, one belief and answer 10 questions. Super, super simple. So I'll, I'll, of all of the books I've read, that one has been arguably the best, okay? So, and, and again, I, I've read some great uh, copywriting training. This was just a very simple to use framework, so I highly recommend it. And there you go. So write how to write more effective copy, even if you're a beginner. And again, this one is like very beginner friendly. So keep that in mind. Now, with that said, if you got value out of this, please drop a comment. Let me know, ask a question. What else can I help you with? What else would you like to learn? What would you like me to do more videos about? I'd be happy to help. And uh, you know, subscribe to the channel, drop a like, and I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Take care, my friend.